Hi everyone, welcome back to the Garden House. It's Stevie here. Um, and though today is an absolutely glorious day and we're going to enjoy every last drop of sun that August has to offer, um, September is just around the corner and that means we're going to start thinking about bulbs for our spring gardens. Okay folks, so we have everything you could possibly need to get a gorgeous spend spring for your garden. Um, we have items, for example, like this, which would be a uh, value pack with lovely different combinations of colors, really striking ones and then softer ones as well. We also have something like this, which if you are new to the tulip or spring bulb game, it's no muss, no fuss. All you do is dig your hole, pop it in, and then it's going to do all the growing by itself. And then if you want to have a theme in your garden, we have again, really stunning value packs. And this one here is the tulip garden, but you can see what a really lovely combination of colors this is for you for like a cottage garden style. We also have these fab little uh, collections of tulips in the jute bags, which is a great gift for the garden in your life. And then also for those of you who are trying to cultivate a really lovely woodland style garden, um, these would give you beautiful drifts of color in the early spring. And these would all be items that would naturalize beautifully for you. Again, we also have packs like this, which is great for your po pollinators in early spring. And um, because after a long cold winter, they're desperately looking for a little bit of something to help them get going in the warm season. And lastly, what I wanted to bring to your attention is this fabulous value pack here, which I think is going to be my favorite for this year, which is called our Tulipa Copper and Black Collection with these really beautiful peaches and salmons. It's absolutely gorgeous. This would be great if you wanted to plant a selection of tulips that you wanted to bring into the house, for example, um, as cut flowers for your uh, little bouquet in the kitchen. That'd be absolutely gorgeous. And of course, folks, it is much easier to get the job done when you have the correct tools. So we would recommend a trowel. This is a great one that we have here from Kenton Stowe. It has the little end for hammering, which oftentimes you do find you need when you're just knocking around in the garden. It also has a serrated edge here, which is brilliant for cutting into bags of compost. And if you're new to planting bulbs, it is quite handy to have a nifty little measuring tool like this one to make sure you're planting your bulbs at the correct depth. You may of course need a bulb planter and we also need gloves, especially if you're going to be planting bulbs like hyacinths, which can be irritating to the skin. All right, gardeners, if you need any advice or tips on what to plant in your garden for a beautiful display in the spring, absolutely do pop in and chat with our team. We're also very keen to give you advice on bulbs that will naturalize beautifully in your garden and really help out the pollinators after a long winter uh, to get started in the spring. That's all from me. We can't wait to see you in the garden house soon. Bye now.